what's up guys it's Nigel here welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel for today's video i am going to film <laughs> i'm gonna film a october tbr i normally set a tbr for myself and I never follow it but since this month is spooky season i have a good decent amount of books right here that i feel like fit the mood it fits the vibe it, it goes with spooky season basically i have one two three four five six i have six books which i always give myself six books to pick from because i'm such a mood reader but i don't know how many books i'm actually going to read throughout the month <laughs> So let's get started. The first book I have is The Society for Soulless Girls by Laura Stephen. This is a YA like thriller, I believe. It says 10 years ago, four students lost their lives in an infamous unsolved North Tower murders at the Elite Carvel Academy of Arts, forcing the school to close the doors. Now Carvel is reopening and freshman Lottie Fitzwilliam is determined to find out what really happened. When her beautiful but standoffish roommate, Alice Wolf, stumbled upon a sinister soul-splitting ritual in a book hidden in Carvel's library, the North Tower claims another victim. Is there a killer among them or worse? What's in them? I felt like it fit the vibe. My mom actually picked this book out, if I'm going to be honest. And most of the time my mom picks books. Chef's kiss. But yeah, she picked this book out and she was like, what about this? And when I read the back, I was like, I'm sold. I'm sold. And... I don't know it you want to know what this gives me it gives me dark academia which is perfect for fall because fall is definitely like dark academia like it's it's mysterious in a way next book i have is a flicker in the dark by stacy willingham i bought this in last week's um fall reading vlog and this is basically about chloe davis when she was 12 six teenage girls went missing in her hometown by the end of the summer her dad magically was like it was me i did it and 20 years later she's now moved to a different town she's trying to get her life together and like regain happiness and be you know going forward with her wedding etc etc but but when one of the teenage girls that she works with goes missing and ends up dead she's kind of like damn is this like my past coming back to haunt me in a way so yeah i i don't know it's at the bottom it says that it it's a lyrical thriller i've heard good things about this and i picked it up on a whim of being like fuck it like i've heard good things like why not give it a chance the next book I have is Paybacks of Witch by Lana Harper. This book was actually another kind of whim type of vibe. I didn't post this in last week's video, but I ended up going to The Ripped Bodice with my girlfriend yesterday. But I picked up this book. Well, let me explain. We went to the store and then we went to Barnes & Noble's and then we went back to the store. Why did she allow me to go back into a store when I already had bought two books and some stickers? I don't know but she let me do it and I ended up looking around the store I couldn't find anything that was like filling the void of like damn like I need a good fall book and then I go to the front of the store and I'm on the verge of ready to leave I was gonna go to her and be like I'm ready to go um but I saw this and it captivated me I was like payback's a witch like what like it's fall time Halloween is around the corner like what so I read the back sounds interesting so emmy harlow is a witch and basically she has a enemy named talia and talia is off of a fresh bad breakup and it's i don't want to read the whole thing because it's a really really big like synopsis but it says but the most concerning of all why can't emmy stop thinking about the terrifying competition competent sorry <laughs> devastatingly gorgeous wickedly charming talia so that's the vibe for this book 
The next book I have um, is Titan, a Gargoyle Daddy Dom Romance. I know I said gargly in the last video. Don't attack me. I'm slow. Um, this is by Jillian Graves. Um, I pretty much talked about this in the last video. She was a child star who got her money taken from her managers and she finds this sugar daddy who happens to be a fucking gargoyle it's a monster spicy romance what do you expect from me it's it's spooky season and the last two books that i have are both thrillers this is the locked door by frida mcfadden i just saw somebody rave about this book on youtube early this morning before i left the house and i bought it a while ago actually but it's about 11 year old nora her dad um used to unalive women in their basement so that's fun <laughs> and decades later her dad is now behind bars she works as a surgeon one of the girls that she worked with or did surgery on died in the same exact manner that her dad used to unalive women so somebody knows who she is somebody knows her past somebody knows what her dad did and everybody wants nora to take the blame for it but there's no evidence pointing towards nora unless they look in her basement tell me that doesn't sound like a valid book and the last book which is probably my most anticipated book for this vlog nope this is not a vlog this is a tbr video is Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. I have heard Sarah Crowley, Crowley, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but this YouTuber, I have heard her rave about this book. I have heard other booktubers rave about this book. I have heard book talkers rave about this book. This gets so much hype, and I am going to cry if it does not live up to the energy that it gives. It says, things have been wrong with Mr. and Mrs. Wright for a long time. Every anniversary, the couple exchanged traditional gifts and Adam's wife writes him a letter. She never lets him read. Until now, self-confessed workaholic Adam Wright has face blindness. He can't even recognize his own wife. And Amelia is sick of the feeling of feeling unseen. When Adam and Amelia win a, a weekend away to Scotland, it might be just what, they, what their marriage means. This weekend, this weekend may make or break their marriage, but they didn't, win, they didn't randomly win this trip. One of them is lying and someone doesn't want them to live happily ever after. I am so excited for this video that I... Uh, this... That's how excited I am. I can't even speak English. I'm so excited for this book. So excited. I forced my girlfriend to search for this book with me at one point. I really might film a video just based on this book alone. But I don't know if it'll be worth it. If you guys want to see a video based on this book alone... The, it'll be a spoiler free but there'll be like a time frame where i spoil the shit out of it so obviously i'll edit it and fix it but like i really wholeheartedly really 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 want to do this i don't know these are the six books that i've chosen to read this month am i gonna read them i hope so because i'm excited about all of them and I really hope I get through all of them because last month I only read two books and that's no bueno for me. I hope you guys liked my video. If you guys did, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys want to read. No, comment what book you're reading for October. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!